Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna put something in this hole in my rack because um, in my last server related video I made this room here I retired my old IBM slash Lenovo X3950 X3 to make this room and I've just been cleaning it a little bit and dust collects in there so um, I'm gonna be putting in some NetApp sands in here because I got two disk shelves one occupied with 24 drives of 2 terabytes and one occupied with 24 600 gigabyte SAS drives 15,000 RPMs and I want to put those in right here both of the disk shelves will take up four use so there should be enough right here for two disk shelves and hopefully a server on top so um, so let's go see what I'm talking about okay here are the disk shelves four use a piece 24 drives a piece and I would like them to go into the data center on top if this is that's the neighbor's son's new PC. Um, I just helped by installing some windows and making access to it and stuff. Uh, I'm really the new NVMe drives. Uh, one is one can go there, and there's room for one more down there. Uh, I think that might be the reason why I would want a new system at some point. But. Well, there's nothing, it's just a PC. But those two disk shelves, heavy as hell. So I'll try and manage those and get them out into the data center. I think I want the, I'll just have the 600 gigabyte disk shelf in the bottom and I'll have the two terabyte disk shelf on top of that one. But I need to go find some brackets for it. I do believe that out here, boom, 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 boom. Yes, there is some brackets down there, some rack mounting gear. I hope some of that will fit. So oh, I found something as rare as the documentation. Uh, it's not exactly the right system. This is the FAS2050. That was not the one I got, but uh, I see that the, the mounting of the disc seals is about the same. Don't know what this is though. That's not on the side of the one I have. Well, I'm sure that the brackets like this will work just fine. So I found the brackets, they're laying right there. Just need to find some of these fasteners to put into my data center. So uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. Okay, back in the data center and I found, um, found brackets for mounting. Um, these disk shelves, they don't really slide in and out like a like a server like this there's no reason for it there is no lead on the top where you can go down and do stuff no you access everything from the front or you access everything from the back very much like a really modern server like the Lenovo x3850 x6 same principle everything is accessible from the front or the back no reason to go um, top side on it um, I'm gonna mount these brackets here and the first one is really easy because that's it's just gonna be at the bottom and well it, it, that's really hard to mess that one up I'm sure someone would be able to do that anyway but we're just gonna put that at the very bottom then we need to go up for use and I found a thingy here in the documentation from NetApp which kinds of shows where for use are it um, um, I believe that it's from down here that would be it's actually not very good it, it's actually pretty much shit how the hell did they f well maybe this one is better one you to you for you yeah that will do the trick so bottom down here and for you up here I better go check if the shells really are for you they should be yeah they're for you so we're gonna mount that and the next one is a bit more tricky then because then I have to go up for you from there so that has to go in there I'm guessing that one 
over there. Okay, I think we can do that. I'll try and mark that. These uh, rails, the disc shelves are by far heaviest on the front where all the discs are. So all the weight is supported on the front here. And this um, extender thing is just to catch something in the back. And it's a really cruel system. It's just like a spear that goes in to this slot with some bended metal that catches on to that. And well, it's not supposed to go out of there. I don't think it will, but it's not supposed to either. Let's, uh, let's try and mount that. And I did also find some, see, find some screws, very long ones. So we're gonna, gonna mount those. Just uh, have a screwdriver. Didn't really wanna screw all of those in by hand. This goes on each side of the rack and because the, the lip that is on them, they, it needs to be in each side, otherwise um, it's not gonna work as well. There we are, piece of cake. Okay, around the back here, it will not be easy for you to see anything. But I'm of course just gonna mount the, the brackets. And I'll actually use this provided ruler to, to make sure that I hit the right spot here. Just around there, cool. So um, yeah, I'll fasten those. There is no room whatsoever back here. I am preparing to move the first disc shell here and I popped out all the power supplies and the second management unit. Uh, they don't really weigh that much. Well, there is maybe a kilogram there. Mm, maybe I should just take the other one out as well. There. So now I should be able to, to handle this box. It's very heavy on the front. I don't know if you know it, but well, a hard drive like this is almost a kilo. So um, it's gonna be front heavy, but I'm gonna lift it. I'm gonna have these discs uh, up against my stomach and I'm gonna lift them the handles here. I have already tested it out. So I'm gonna mount the camera in the data center and you can see me come in with this. This is fully loaded 50 kilograms. So that's just how strong I am. <clears throat> Okay, they have actually made it so that you're supposed to mount it in the rack in, in two holes here. And one of them means that I would have to remove that screw. Um, I don't see why. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's, it's proper pretty hard to get in there. This one is a bit up though. I don't really want that. So I'm gonna loosen this and lower it just a little bit to have this flush with the top of this one. Just try that off. Make sure that it's a little bit clean. Before we continue, it is nice to have a clean data center, so... There. I picked up the power supplies in the living room. I'm just gonna slide them in this way. Easier than getting them around the back. And the two management cards here as well. And I'm gonna pop those in from the back. There we are. Okay, everything has been popped in. 
Um, I haven't connected power to it yet, but we'll be getting there. I do not have the second controller popped in and I'm not going to be using all four power supplies either. I have popped them in right now, but um, I'm going to be taking two of them at least out of there because, well, power supplies uses power and, well, it has this many power supplies for redundancy and I can live with a little less redundancy and have a little bit more money. Second shelf, pretty much as heavy. Oh. Yeah, it, it's almost in, but it's over. It's still heavy here. But I did also remove the power supplies from this one, so that's probably it. But okay. That doesn't look too bad, does it? And there is room for one new server. Whoa, that's gonna be cool. Okay, I have mounted the power on the back and I've plugged out the, the lower power supply in this one, uh, two of them, uh, kind of the same way that they have done on the top one. So one here and one there. I'm not sure if that's the right way of doing it, but well, that's... Um, that's what I saw that was already done on the system when I got it. So I just copied that and it seemed to work great on the top one. So I just copied that. I have also put in the cable that connects one box to the other box. So they are now connected together. I just need to put in this cable to the server that is missing here. And that is gonna be the Lenovo X3550 model that I also picked up in Sweden. So that's gonna be kind of fun. All of this equipment is gonna be stuff that I got from Sweden. So Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that I can get out of here. <laughs> and give this video a like if you wouldn't mind. It, it's always nice to get those likes and have a really nice day. Bye bye.